you just joined us, we are Sound Factory Studio in La Paz. We are going to enjoy a bit of music. We'll have an introduction. So if you just joined us, Daily News Hive, like and subscribe to our channel to get news, interviews, tech tips, and tech reviews. All right? So, Robo, and welcome to the channel again. Thank you, boss. The last time we spoke about YouTube, and I'm able to talk about what you do as a yeah. company, as Sound Factory Studio. And before you introduce yourself again to those who are joining us for the first time, let's give us a bit of music. Okay. Let me play a popular life with it. <laughs> Ask how to do an introduction. Yeah. So let's, but let's get your name and what you do. My name is Samuel Ajiman Boahin. Um, I would not say I'm the CEO of Sound Factory Studio, but I work here. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am professionally into music as a full time career, uh, more of a freelance person. So I pay my own salary. Yeah, you have an idea of what that means. All right. And I have a professional qualification in music. I have a degree and second degree in music. My MPhil in music. Currently working to pursue my PhD. Wow. Yeah, hopefully by God's grace. So basically that's I'm happily married mm. to Linda Atasa. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's my wife. She's a beautiful woman, mm. physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Oh, so romantic. Ah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, so basically that's what I So what, what do you do at Sound Factory Studio? Sound Factory Studio, it's we do a lot of stuff such as recording of artists, music. Here, people come here to book here for rehearsals to like as a group, as a band, to book the space for rehearsal sessions. And we teach instruments to here. If somebody wants to learn instrument like guitar, keyboard, drums. From scratch? From scratch or to whichever level, intermediate, okay. advanced, or from beginner uh, course. So that's what basically Sound Factory is. And we also do music therapy. Music therapy. Yeah, now, that sounds a, interesting. The psychology of music, because music can help people who have mental issues reshape their. How? That's true music therapy. So, like, how does it work? If somebody wants music therapy, what to do? What would you do? So we have we have folks. You can either use music, or the person trying to learn an instrument. The process of learning has a rigorous issue on the mind, or there are certain songs they listen to. That creates a mood, and every mood is contracted by the mind. So whatever mood the person listens to, it changes as something. Somebody might have an issue like... So like depression. Depression. It can change depression. Somebody is extremely hyper. Based on the kind of music he will start listening, it can change that temperament. That reminds me of a story in the Bible about uh, David playing the harp for uh, Saul. So. And when he played, his soul was happy. Yeah. Something like that. It changed the, it sucked the evil spirits that were about you. So, basically, I'm very interested in that. <laughs> so, is it, um, is it based in psychology? It is an aspect of psychology, but sub-aspect, not like uh, entirely from psychology, but it's a psychological effect because of what it transmits. The psychological is more from, you don't see it, it has to come from within you, like the mind. So it means that you have to be physically present playing the guitar or the instrument for the person. The person needs to be here. There are instances where the person comes. What I use mostly, I use the meditation. I call it a meditation cycle. What I do is I, I give you a space or a chair you sit with an atmosphere of quietness. And I play songs while you listen with your eyes closed. So... Some of them are gospel songs. Some of them are just instrumental songs. Some of them are relaxation songs. Okay. And the 
the tax I give you is as you listen to the songs, whatever problems you have, sometimes people have issues with their marriage, sometimes they just don't know how life is working for them. Stress. Yeah. So you just keep quiet, listen to the music whilst your eyes are closed and breathe over your issues. Some of you end up crying and at the end of really? the you speak privately. So the music changed the atmosphere. Wow. Yeah, and some also play, try to play the instrument and in the process. I use, I have some tutorials that you play along, but it's back with music. So as you're playing, the background music naturally changes that state of mind. Wow. And it's sometimes you take people over months and weeks. Others to have their relief after two sessions or even just one session. It changes their state of mind. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's yeah. amazing. I'm just imagining somebody listening to the music and crying and getting emotional and it's changing yeah. a person's life. That's amazing. The music is really powerful. It's extremely powerful. Wow. Okay, let's let's go to something happier. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So apart from the music therapy, um, you also do voice management or voice yeah, training. Voice training for people who have okay. challenges, who wants to uh, have very good vocal abilities. We have a course, an outline that we use, just like the other instruments, to help them like become very good. Because there are some voices are really. Um, I don't to say horrible, but anybody can sing. No matter how horrible the voice is, anyone can sing. It depends on who helps you out really? and the kind of technique. It's not all voices that will be refined or sound fine. Some people's vocal ability might be hasty. I don't know. Somebody, I don't know. I don't know. It changes. Okay. But you can find your voice. Some might be, I don't know. But the important thing is the ability to hit a note is important than the smoothness of your voice. Okay. Imagine I play something like, And you have a fine voice, and you do. And somebody has a rattling. Okay. So your tone, ability to catch a pitch, is important than the smoothness of your voice. Wow. So anyone can sing. So how long does it take for someone to train their voice? Because it means that even uh, what you're describing, it means yeah. that even choir, choirs of churches uh, can yeah. all be voice trained, and they can sound much better. Yeah. So how long does it usually take to train someone's voice? It takes forever. Forever. In the instance that it's up to you. It never ends. Is that what you no, mean? No, because you are supposed to change every single day, week. Hmm. See, so that it psychologically or it's, it's, uh, idiomatically, it's, it's never, it, it doesn't take one day. It takes forever. Because anything that you keep working on, it keeps improving. Wow. So if, let's say, you come here, we might have a, a, a limit time for maybe three months, two months, a month. But the forever is how you will keep practicing what you've learned. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. After hearing it last forever, <laughs> my mind is changing. I think I'll still prefer to learn the instruments. Uh-huh. But it's it's all the same with every other as, as, aspect in life. Being you a visual artist or whatever, the more you do the you practice, thing. the better you become. So it's forever. As soon as you stop, if you stop painting, forever has stopped. Because mm. to make business, you need to keep doing it. Exactly. exactly. That reminds me of a, a saying I had somewhere that it takes 4,000 hours of practice to become an expert of something. Well, um, it's how does that really does that apply to learn an instrument? Because I've seen videos on YouTube where people are teaching how to uh, play a guitar in like one hour, master a guitar in one hour. I've seen a lot of videos like that. Some of them, the titles are clickbait. Guitar, naturally, to be able to even hit a chord right. It will take you about approximately three to one week to be able to hit the sound. Because in the first time you touch a guitar, you might hear something like. Mm, yeah. But some people are very lucky that within the first session, you, they can at least you will hear okay. the sound. But this is the ultimate thing. And oh. To achieve this, at least it takes about three. Some people, they are very. And your fingers has a way it affects if you have thinner fingers it becomes easy to position some some people are very this part of their fingers are huge so to press the core sometimes it touches the other strings with it will take time for people like that I and see. someone who has those 
and there are things we check like this. There are certain chords, the player chord like this. See how this finger is bent. So yeah. when you come here as a student, I make you try to do this. And I see that people's fingers cannot bend. Let me see how mine is. Where's your left finger? So your ring finger. Try and bend that. This. Your ring finger. Compare that to mine. Mm. So what does that mean? So that means this the once you have the ability to bend it a bit, it means there are certain chords. But some people can't grab like this. Really? It comes very difficult for them. That means I can learn it in one hour. <laughs> it's not an hour basis. So those are some of the things you look at. Uh, oh, it, okay. It's a daily or a weekly routine thing you do to improve. Hmm. I see. Then those videos have deceived me. Some of them you just want to get a bit, you know, the mm, views and stuff yeah. like that. Wow. But they might have, some to might have certain things that will build your interest, but you can't play guitar in one week. I'm actually writing a book how to play piano within two hours. Mm. It's something I've discovered about the piano. I'm writing a book, a preview of it. I'm still on it. Two hours? Within two hours. Wow. If you, are, you can play do fast, so in all the keys, because there are people who play by transposing. See, what the song does that mean? is in F. So the person saying, and somebody goes to gym, you know, we, we, they have learned everything about the piano in key F. So if somebody is singing in G, they have to find a way to bring the G to the F mode before they. Oh, okay. Play. So that's playing by transposing. Mm -hmm. But mm. with that technique I've developed, you can play all keys from scratch. Wow. And you break away that mentality. That's, that's amazing. Like, so let's talk about something a bit personal. So why music? What made you go into music in the first place? Uh, was it something you wanted to do when you were growing up or something you chanced upon? What was the story behind the music? <laughs> well, music, because that's what finally came to stay. My dad was a musician and I would highlight me with the old people. You know, but he didn't want me to have anything to do with music because of how music was. Um, achieved or respected in that in the 70s, 80s. People saw people who were into music as people who don't want to do anything good with their life. Mm. They don't want to go to school and stuff because music was not really accepted that much. Though they had chance to travel outside and all those stuff. In the country, musicians were considered as some ruffians and stuff. So he didn't want me to walk into that cycle. But since birth, they saw that there's this science aspect in my life because some of the things I might say might be weird, but it's just where we were living our, our house behind there was I dig I dug a hole and when it rained, I go it was unnested, but you have like rivers flowing at certain points. So I just go and jump at the age of four to the head. You know when frogs it rain like a frog meat and you see have their eggs, yeah. and I'll be catching the frogs into about, <laughs> about 20 years. And somebody go, go Mr. Ajima, I'm going to go to the zoo. Hey, Nana, I'm going to go to the zoo. And you come to our house back, I've dissected the frog and mm. to see what's inside. It's not there, and I'm a Korean mom in the donut. So, <laughs> so everybody thought that this is boy is going to be into that science, even from JSS. Everybody's a robot here, of course, because they saw that ability making aquarium for, for crafts. Building, I see. Using bottle, beer bottles to do aquarium. You watch the bottle and you see fish and stuff. Wow. Like some weird stuff. I even invented Mario. Mario mm. game. Yeah. I use cards to do the whole game. Mm. And you use something. So that state of science thing was there. So I went to SS. I started science, but things were hard at home financially. So I realized that uh, this science thing will help. So I switched to business. So I did business elective mass in SS. I had a good grade 10. I wanted to get nine. So I could do business administration at <laughs> Troy, uh, SSE, that time, I wrote that. Uh, they kept giving me that same grade. And I'm oh. like, this is it. So in 2005, four, my dad was working in a studio. And one day we were going to a car to buy stuff. And I was like, ah, do you hear music? And when I was five, he bought me my first guitar. Oh, okay. And he taught me 
do re mi in this position. Every two hours, I'll go and take the guitar. Every two hours, and I said, "Pause it." So you realize that no, this boy, if I let him get into this, because he was active in the band, then he might not focus on education. So he took the guitar away and went to do it somewhere. So at night, nice, they'll be in their bedroom and go, "Na na bra, how's your time?" But, you know, and I just turn around, you know. But he realized that I was getting interest in the music, so he discarded that thing out of my mind. He gave the guitar to someone. So I went through SS. I didn't know how to play any instrument. There were groups there. So it was after my secondary school, I was 16 then. I was like, now when I was here, I'm also investing in music. So. Mm. So there was a guy who comes to our house. He started learning the guitar for my church. I was an apostolic church. Apostolic church girl at the first one. So when they are playing, I just walk around. I'm going to do my own thing, study my accounting and stuff. So one day, he was showing him a chord. And like, the guy was struggling. So I just came in. And then it's my mentor. And then I took the guitar. And then, why are you doing two weeks? So he, my father has a way of teaching. You give you pressure. When you see you can't take it, then you Relax. come now. So I said, oh, then let me continue. Then he told me the second record then. So that's how I started learning guitar again. Uh, so it was after second, when I tell people that I never played instruments when I was in secondary school, they don't believe it because based on how I play now, they are thinking that from childhood be crap, but it's even built. So I decided I want to make this professional by like going to the university to study the advanced way of learning music and all stuff like that. So that I take it as a career because I wanted to. I realized that I could help. I could be better with teaching. So I wanted to be a, a scholar in the music aspect, not be like just playing around. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how come. Wow. I do the accounting and everything. And doing, so, yeah. It's a very interesting story. Wow. If you if you just joined us, we are Sound Factory Studio. Um, we are Sound Factory Studio talking about music as a career, how you can start a career in music, and what they also do at Sound Factory Studio. Now, if you just joined us, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. So anytime that we post um, videos, you'll be the first one of the first people to see it. Don't forget to smash the like button also. All right, welcome back from the adverts. So, Bobo, earlier we were talking about how you, you ended up in music. You told us about how you thought you were going to do science. Yeah. They ended up being business. <laughs> they ended up switching to music. But actually, I'm going to do science. I'm having plans to go to the pharmacy school. Wow. Yeah, before I leave. What? Hopefully, this plan it. <laughs> so that, because I realized that now in our system, people, if you have money, you can do so many things. It wasn't at first yeah. our SSC certificate was the qualification. You can go to game power even if you don't have an essence of it, and still learn. Yeah. So once you have the money, you can achieve anything but related why to business. Why pharmacy? Uh, it's something that I want to, especially I'm messing with me work on here. That <laughs> but, isn't so. that what nurses do instead? Well, it's gone or anything is possible. <laughs> I just so, want to have anything to do with something related to science. the science thing. I learn engineering. I don't want that. You don't want that much. No. <laughs> I'm tired of letting us. Plus, my <laughs> the script of this film and as far as it's called the two almighty from Lion mm. Banya Shield. No, God, that has been tamer than engineering maths. That's a different level. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> it's just something I'd want to do to the science aspect sometime if I don't get all gray as I'm getting. Right. You already have gray hair. I said all gray. All gray. Now it's gray and black. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's that's how. Okay, so what's your favorite instrument? My favorite instrument is guitar. Why? Why guitar? I play other instruments, but I realized that was what I was introduced to. I tried learning others, but I I like difficult, taking difficult as well, things that are challenging, things that no one would do. I want to try it and see if I'll succeed. It takes time to play guitar. Wow. I can use one week to start playing keyboard. It will take you about two to three months to play guitar very well. Wow. Do with experience. Now I can use about two weeks to help somebody play. It takes a long time. And one thing about keyboard, when you just press, you hear a sound. Yeah. 
but this is guitar C. Mm. So you will need this extra hand. So whatever my fingers are on are here, I need this before you can hear yeah. the sound. All like keyboard that when you press, you hear your sound instantly. So I realized that there are certain things about guitar that are difficult to do than keyboard. Mm. So I wanted to find a way to make this instrument easier for people. So based on research and experience, I realized that when you play a chord on the keyboard, some of the chords, your finger will be this. Okay. And that's how I, but when you get a chord on guitar, it's the same thing across the board. Only okay. if it's vertically, horizontally, it's the same thing. So people's perception that this is difficult has been decoded by me. That wow. there are ways that you can play and it will be easier. This is like when you were cutting up the frogs. <laughs> <laughs> but this is now it's cutting up guitar. Cutting up guitar. So that was what I was introduced. So I, I found that because I realized that when I play it, I flow very well. I like it more than the keyboard the and keyboard. the other instrument. Mm. And I also want to so my dream instrument is saxophone and mm. drums. Because when I do Okay, maybe we get to that. In my studio productions that I do, my, when people hear the drums, they think I it was played like, but I played everything on the keyboard. So my rhythm sense is a bit good. So okay. I'm learning drums too, but guitar is my first. So first love. Yeah. So let's talk about my first love is my wife. Hey, oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I meant your first <laughs> instrument love. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so now let's go to the production. Yeah. What's the most, uh, what's your favorite production you've ever done? As to for an artist or? For an art, I mean, other for an artist, whether it's for a show, what's your favorite one you've ever done or most memorable? Mm, um, uh, the question is a bit. So, what's the most, uh, what's your favorite song you've ever produced for somebody? Oh, is that a gospel musician? Okay, so what was she? It's here. Yeah. Uh, Genesis yeah. album, I produced two songs. Mm. One was Love, 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 and the other was Time. And Once Upon a Time, I wrote all the songs. And you wrote you wrote it, you produced it. Mm -hmm. Wow. I've worked with D Crime, some other musicians, but Wendy Shea. Okay, I also made a song for Wendy Shea. Do you write music? I write, but I don't really expose it out. She came to do a Mother's Day song, Mama. You know when she, people are singing for all those controversial yeah. stuff. So she came to record me and I was like, sister, I have a standard. If the song is nothing I can do, I will not work with you. <laughs> so her mother's day song, Mama. So I, I produced that. And she even got an award in South Africa with that song. I yeah. see. That's what one of the songs. I've done so many. I started beat making in 2005. So you can uh, imagine. I can count up to over 3,000 But, but which one is I your... Made. Which one is has a... Because I'm sure there'll be one that has an interesting story behind it that is memorable. Mm, there are a lot. Just but choose one. I, What's one interesting story? I started making beats, fusion beats. Because in mostly here in Ghana, people who either do hip hop and you hear those American stuff. But I wanted to stand out. So I was adding our Ghanaian stuff to whatever genre of music. Okay. So when you hear beat, beat with the robot, because you hear Yamponsa in a hip hop vibe, which people were not doing most. So I did one for a guy in America. He, he used to work with DMX. Okay. And he used it for a song out, and he blew. They said, now it was that time, you know, beautiful as you brands, but Nyaji said, so I didn't really get much from it. That's a problem. So that was been one of my. But what year was that? It was in 2016. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. So now, what about the show? Um, have you done any music for a show? Music for a show is the question that I don't like playing at. Um, um, no, when I say show, like a movie. Oh, uh, okay. A TV yeah, yeah, show. yeah. Uh, you know, a sick tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you know Mr. Ivan Kwashiga. No, okay. Who is he? Farmhouse Production CEO. Okay. Like, the man who produces Yolo. Yolo. And, yeah. I was working underground because somebody, the third person was bringing me the jobs. But I, by God's grace, I managed to meet him face to face. And there's a current TV series on Akaba Magic to have and to hold. Yeah, I, I, I made a team song. Wow. A background song we use each time. 
they are giving the credit to uh, people who are involved in and I edited the, the audios for them for each episode. So that's been one of them. Because I don't I mean, that's I love the movie thing, like doing a soundtrack for a movie, like an adventure movie that's yeah. Yeah. I've created some online and people are like so I'm having a dream to work with Universal Studios someday. Whoa, nice. To produce for Avengers. Mm, <laughs> it's Avengers Universal Studios. That's Marvel. Uh, that's Marvel. I don't like Marvel. I like Universal Studios. Why Universal or not Marvel? Because Marvel sometimes is too comic. They mm-hmm. have so many. I want to work for Spider-Man and both Batman. But Spider-Man is Marvel. Oh, that one is not Marvel. It's not part of Marvel. How? It's Universal Studios. Universal Studios. <laughs> well, so that's it. I just want to be able to. Because the ideas that I do here, people listen like, I will go the Kawa Buche Bianca. The money we're we'll making. But, you know, our music system here is limited. You have to flow in what is existing here before you make money. But now there are digital stores and platforms that. You can market yourself to the outside world, and if people are interested in what you do, they will contact you. It doesn't matter yeah. where you are. It's a global market now, so that's it. I enjoy making those movie scenarios. There was a time that I created a suspense sound, and I used my natural voice to imitate that somebody freezing wow. snow, and I used a guitar to create some horror <laughs> sounds and stuff. So, and people are like. Ah, I don't know how they hear at the week. So that's naturally some of the stuff that I do. With so that's music. amazing. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just surprised. Why are you surprised? I mean, like, uh, the level of talent is so high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. The level of talent is really high. Stop laughing at me. Oh, I'm not laughing at This is amazing. Well, it's work. just by grace. This is amazing work. So how, how do you deal with stress? I mean, you work a lot, so mm. how do how do you manage your time? How do you deal with stress? Ah, that's that's an interesting question. Are you using music therapy on yourself? <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't even use it on myself. <laughs> it is I, I I this is the nature of anybody who wants to do studio stuff or whoever is in it, it's very stressful. That's why most of the uh, underground people, engineers who use FL, the shortcuts, if they already make the beats. So that when you come, they give it to you. But I like to work from scratch. The artist come, he sings the songs or her song. And I try to find how I can make things from scratch. So my gray hair is not because I'm too grown. It's because <laughs> of the nature of my work. Because, you I know, I dream dream people's set of minds. But anything that involves constant concentration on a daily basis, or it becomes a habitual thing, Will let you go gray. Apart from the scientific thing, they say something, yeah, it's reducing in your hormones. Who anybody who is into sound from like the live sound production, check his hair. Or anybody who is into music, as you grow with the experience, you start growing gray. But studio is very stressful because this is it. Somebody comes and he's just saying, Yeah, that was you. you have to find the key. What rhythm will fit what he's saying? Makes the song the tones you will use, oh. and after that you have to master the song. That it will be a global star in terms of mm. the volume of the song and stuff. And you play about ten to fifteen instruments, and they are playing together during the mixing stage. You have to hear everything at once, mm. all the fifteen things. You have to hear them at once and see which is loud, which is too heavy, which is sounding too bright so you see that what makes that so you are thinking 15 times at wow. the same time so how do you do with the stress i just sleep when i can and i did a research and realized that i actually sleep four hours just a day four hours a day yeah wow so sometimes when i close and i get home after my 12 hour prayer i don't sleep wow so you be a bed three o'clock and now four, that's when I sleep. And because I pay my own salary, so I choose when to <laughs> come to work based on the appointment that I have. So but it's not it's not a good thing though, but that's how I find my life to be now. 
So in managing stress, sometimes I, I quit, I close early so that I can go and play basketball. Okay. So that's the only sport I do, playing basketball. In the process... Do you read? I used to read, but now I'm only reading stuff about YouTube. <laughs> So then the YouTube, is it like a, a hobby that helps you to relax? Sometimes. But most of the, my realization comes from playing basketball. Playing basketball. Do you do it weekly? I try to do at least twice a week or thrice a week, depending on the time I get. Because in the process of me jumping and stuff, it's when I get home and I bath, um, at that moment, there's no way I'll touch my computer or anything. It will make me sleep for a while. Like what bread? My bread, you know. <laughs> but if I have not done that, you could fear I'll still be doing other stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. But um, have you ever been a time where you have felt bent out or like, uh, like yeah. too tired? Sometimes, like, if maybe there's a deadline for a project or someone sort of have to, and I see it, there's been a delay, I have to work. I remember when I was working with Ivan, some, he gave me. 10 episodes to work over for two days. Wow. There were noise, like maybe if you shoot in the opening place where there are cars, it's supposed to take those things out and it will be left with the voice, which is not possible naturally. But by God's grace and wisdom, I was able to find a way out. And I did two days all night. Whoa. Day. How, long was, how long was each episode? 28 minutes. Wow. But it takes four hours to finish one episode. Oh. Because you have to listen for a second to see if there is a mistake anywhere. That's crazy. I did two days, two all nights. <laughs> and my wife would bring me food here mm. and say, you have to finish. Because there was something that when I finish, what is involved is fat elephant. So mm. I, and he did it very fast because DSC people were on to take. So that has been one of mine. And sometimes you, you will not be the work will be too much that when you finish it, you have to go to the next person and you, you, you calculate that you close at six. By the time you realize it's 10 10. Whoa. In this environment, the, the weather does not change. Yeah, you only see what's going on. Eight o'clock, you wouldn't see if it's that's how it happens. Wow. So, the how, um, whenever you, when you were bent out, like what do you do to get back on your feet? Sometimes when I'm bent out, I just get out of the machine. It's advisable for every engineer when you are getting stressed. Because when you get stressed, sometimes you might be mixing, but you make mistakes. But the best way to check how good or a good product you did is to check it in the morning. You can see that so many things you were doing when you were tired were wrong. So when I feel I'm getting tired, I just walk out and maybe sit outside without a phone or anything and just watch the natural environment, what is happening. <laughs> or sometimes I try to stay it now for about 20 to 15 minutes, 30 minutes to at least make the body relax. Oh, okay. But that's what I do mostly. But here it's so busy that you'll be there and then yeah, woo, woo. you have to wake <laughs> up. So the best thing that helps is that I just go outside. So whoever is coming here, sitting outside and yeah. chatting then before I work again. So. Oh, okay. So what what would you advise somebody who is a young guy that he wants to do music, he or, she, he or she wants to do music? What path would you advise a person to do music, maybe as a producer of music? Oh, okay. What part would you advise a person to take? I would advise you that you learn from the right sources. Because now, because of our information need, you can get software easily because YouTube will show you tutorials. But in person, is always different from your own way, trying to find your own way. Though sometimes you might be intelligent and you even learn stuff more than somebody you know. But... Whoever has this experience is greater than your whole life, something. So you need to um, get advice from people who have the experience and the right experience, not just anybody, because he has about 10 hit songs. And he will show you his, his approach. But you get to places, maybe you travel outside and you can't work with them because the things you know is not up to that standard. So it's good to research, to find out what's, uh, the advanced ways people are working in the industry. And if you want to take this as a business or a full-time career, you should you should learn it well. Because there are engineers who, when you take gospel songs to they're like, oh, maybe they may not gospel. But by God's grace, I do anything from reggae, whatever, dance or hip-hop, 
anything you come out, I'll be able to program it for you because I've learned the craft. It's a whole craft. You don't know, though somebody might have a strength or weakness, but you need to be able to be all around in the field. So my advice to them is that learn the right way. But taking music as a career, embrace yourself. It's not easy <laughs> to survive with music. You need to shape yourself that you are not only going to focus on beat making. At least learn the instrument. Many producers in Ghana don't play the instrument. They have learned two by four with chain, chain, and when they hear the drums play, they are ready to go. So you can never go outside and play a gig mm. unless somebody's come to make a beat. They can't go and teach somebody the instrument. Yeah. But I'm excited that this is something I'm doing full time. So I need to be well equipped in all ways. If I'm not at the studio, I'm teaching professionally, sight reading, like the ABRSM exam, or I'm playing a gig somewhere, I'm playing a studio session somewhere. So you need to be all around. So mm. that you know, if today your office is idle, someone will call you to another location to work. Okay. So you need to master the craft in all ways. At least learn one instrument on a 60% level that you can perform well everywhere globally and locally. Wow. So what what would you say to a uh, what do you say to encourage somebody who has probably started learning an instrument or started music as a career and just facing a lot of challenges? Or let's say something to encourage okay. that person. The issue and the truth is music is not still yet respected extremely. Though some musicians have found way to create a bridge by charging very high for some of the events like Shatawali, Stoneboy and those people. But the honest truth is our system is not working. People will come to the studio and pay huge money only with the hope that what they finish, they will send us some through WhatsApp or social media for it to spread before they'll be invited for shows. But they paid for studio. We've stopped producing CDs, yeah. cassettes, and all those things. Even in Europe, they still have gramophones that t -t 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 sell it. You can have hip hop song that was created 2021 on a gramophone. Because wow. that's what somebody wants. But we have that aspect of throwing the stuff is a way a chim. And now pen drive and stuff is what is <laughs> on the market. But the white people will do pen drive and still keep the CDs for whoever doesn't have access to the pen drive. Mm. So that's one of the things that is killing our market. So if you want to be into music, <laughs> as I said earlier, learn the right things the right way so that you don't get handicapped. Mm. It's not easy. Sometimes even there might be parental issues because of somebody you ask you. So apart from music, what else what do you do? do? <laughs> what do you really do? Sometimes when I hear that question, I just... So I don't want to be rude because what is the use going to an office from nine to five as a corporate worker and probably about tired stuff and you be earning let's say thousand to thousand five a month or two thousand and I can make that money within two hours mm -hmm. a day. That's your thirty days money. But you don't respect that. Music is very lucrative if you can position yourself and have God. And me, I, there are so many studios around, so many producers. But I always say that people who are called for this will always stay. People are keeping making studios. They're opening new, bigger studios, very few studios. But those who this work out for will stay and those people will collapse. That's what, what, what I always say. Yeah. So, that's the thing. You need to embrace yourself. Like, let your family or your parents see it. He's showing something worthwhile we should allow him to do. There should be some achievements. You get it? And in the early stage, it was still, it's difficult because you are now trying to find a voice yeah. out there. But how you do it, sometimes, even if you are practicing it, the way you practice will let, will draw a certain attention. I think, no matter how bad it is, there's always a point of breakthrough for each person. So do it right and you'll be appreciated. Wow. Just that the system is hard to position <laughs> yourself so that you fit everywhere. It was a COVID time that most musicians became very, very sorry for their life because most of them were depending on gigs. Yeah. 
So when the gigs were out, because the places, clubs and events ended up being closed, how would you survive? But because I know how to do studio stuff, people will send things through WhatsApp and I'll be going and I'll play the gigs. I said, still make money. So I was advising most of So now there are people who are even doing Uber musicians who are playing gigs. And, because, mm. yeah, the, the COVID has told them that we can't rely on, only on gigs because when it fades, what else? Yeah. Yeah, so you need to equip yourself in diverse ways. And you'll be appreciated and accepted. That's very deep. Wow. Wow. That's very deep. We have really enjoyed today's discussion. Yeah. If people want to contact you for to produce your songs for them, mm -hmm. how do they find you? Well, um, you can contact me on Facebook. It's Sound Factory. So the sound is not the normal spelling. S-O-U-N-D-S. It's... S A W N D. You made it sound like uh, you are pronouncing the word S A A O. Of my behind the name Sa A O N D. S A W N D. So people, so people kind of like, ah, is it Swan? Swan N D. So, so that's the reason why the name is like that. It's like it's not natural because S O U is Swan. Then I just use this one, but S A W is actually okay. sound. In a way, so that's the sound factory, and our contacts are WhatsApp is 050 I repeat 080 and our call number is 020 020 Yeah. And we also have a YouTube channel, a <laughs> Sound Factory Studio. So you can watch some of the stuff we do. We beat making tutorials and uh, lessons for music theory and practical of instruments too. Yeah. Okay, so it was great having you here today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell also. See you again next time. It was great having you here today. Don't forget to like and subscribe.